Dominic didn't know that he could sing. He was very hesitant and had to be lashed into action by Priscilla, our casting director, who was determined, you know, he was going to find the singer in himself. I used to think that was sensible. It makes the truth even more incomprehensible. We can do that too. Lay all your love. What can I say about that song? Well, it's, I really, I like the song, actually. I've come to kind of love it. I don't know how I feel about it in three days' time after we've been filming it for three days. And all happens, and all returns, what can I do? It's so out of tune. It's no, it's not. I don't know. It's not today, I don't know why. No, can we, we need to do that again. Is it higher? Am I, should I be no, because uh, we can use that from the okay. existing stuff. I think I'm most proud of Dominic, of all of them who sang. Dominic worked so hard, and literally we went through Laoli Love line by line. All I've learned has overturned, what can I do? It's funny because you're, what you're trying to do is you're trying to have a conversation. <laughs> much a first time you see Sophie and Sky really in a smoochy, sexy romp. You really realise how absolutely attractive they are. It looks romantic. <laughs> was it romantic? No. It was really cold. See, that's the thing. You don't think in Greece it's going to be cold and windy, but it is. And I was in a bathing suit. Don't go Sexy, I don't know how that happened. But everybody says it looks nice, so just take their word. It is sort of some sea sand and sex. When the stags ambush, you need to make clear to me that it's, it's a complete shock. They come absolutely out of nowhere. Where have they been? And where have they sprung from? It is a sort of playful moment where the stags at the, from the stag night suddenly appear from underwater, which, as you can imagine, didn't go down terribly well, saying, could you please stand by underwater without any snorkels? I'll tell you when to come up when we're ready. So we had to sort of send them under to hold their breath. So they've got to come out absolutely on cue. How do we communicate with you when you're underwater? But is it coming off their lyric? Yeah. Here? Yeah, they've got to come out of the water and sing on cue. When the music cue came, somebody was out of the water, tickling somebody's toe, and a kind of message went down underwater, and then they popped up. Guys, you know what's a shocker? The first line, don't go wasting your emotion. It's got to come off together on three. Just do the first line. Three, four, don't. Can I do with the moves? <laughs> Three, four. Don't go wasting your emotions. I had a very strong brief from Philida about what she wanted. For the men, I knew they were going to be bare-chested a lot, so they all had to take their tops off for the auditions so that we could see they had sort of fine, strapping young bodies. I would say we've got sort of 20 of the strongest, you know, young dancers in this kind of style from, from England. It was a huge search. I saw 300, 400 boys to get these ones. Well, 
originally we were going to do it on the beach. We decided it would have been quite difficult on the beach. And so we got them on the jetty. And I'm so thrilled we're on the jetty because when you're filming it, it makes it so graphic. Go, go.